in Crafty Dabblers. Another Tories Try It Tuesday and today I thought we could have a go at making this really cute mini tag book. It's quick and it's easy. The base of it is a 12 by 12 inch piece of paper so you don't need too much. Everything that you're going to need for this is listed down in the description below. If you didn't get a chance to see it yet don't worry I'm going to pop it up on the screen as normal. So if you want to pause me just for a moment and go and grab your bits, feel free. Just make sure you come back. So sit back and let's get to it. Okay, back again. So the first thing you need to grab is your 12 by 12 sheet of paper. All you have to decide is which side you're going to decorate. Uh, mine's blank on one side, patterned on the other. When you put your book together, you're not going to get to see both sides. So pick a side and decorate. And that's what we're going to do now. Um, I'm going to go pop some music on for you and fast forward me doing mine. And I shall meet you back and give you a chance to get yours done. And then the next bit, you're going to need to get your scoreboard out. Back in a minute. Okay, that's done then, I'm pleased with that. Next stage is we have to score. And it's really simple. You're going to mark in three inch increments. So three inch there, move along. And then over to nine. Unfortunately, my other scoreboard's broken, so I have to use this one, but it just does the job. Okay, then you're going to make down my brushes. <laughs> Okay, then quarter turn, and you're gonna do exactly the same again. Three, six, and nine inches. So can you see, you've got one, two, three, four squares. And then obviously it's gonna be four by four. So that's what we want for the next stage. You can get rid of your board now, we don't need it. Okay, so next is your scissors or your trimmer. And all you're going to do, in fact, let me show you on the reverse again, might be a little bit easier to see. Starting at the bottom, on the left hand side, okay, you're going to cut three, six, nine, and you're going to stop there. 
okay there then move over and from the top at the six inch point you're going to do coming down three six to nine and stop there and then the very last one on the far right hand side from the bottom three six to nine and you're going to stop okay but you're going to do that obviously do it on your pattern side i was just doing it on that side so you could see it a bit clearer okay i'll let you go and get that cut and you can watch me doing it fast forward back in a minute Turn it over so you can see the pattern. Hopefully, if you're all happy with the cutting, it should like look like a very large capital M. Ba boom Okay, I don't think you can see that. All right. Now all that's left is to fold. Um, just to get you started, and then I'm going to fast forward because you don't need to sit there watching me fold really slowly. When you start off. When you start your folding, obviously pattern side facing you, and your very first fold, fold forward. Okay? Right, I'm going to fold. I hope you're going to do it with me. Okay, so all you're going to do now is glue. Okay, so you're gonna to need to glue down that side and then along the bottom, okay, to give you your pocket at the top. Okay, so either glue or use your tape. After that, before you do anything else, you have your two bits of paper, they're going to cover your front covers. So go off and decorate those any way you want. Um, I've just cut those in blank paper, but very honestly, if you don't want to do any more coloring, again, you could even just use another bit of pattern paper, whatever you've got to hand. I'm gonna quickly throw some inks on mine because I do love my inks. Put you back here in a few minutes. Last things we really need to do now are your covers, um, and this is what I'm going to suggest to do. And I'm not, I'm not going to bore you now with me doing it on the video. I'm just going to explain to you um, once you've decorated your covering, or even if it's a, 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 a textured, textured, printed. That's the word I'm looking for. 
printed card or whatever you're covering it. You want to mitre your corners. Now, I have a, a brilliant little tool, uh, trimruler.com company. Uh, that's them there. Let me see if I can view. Yeah. Can you see here? I am just going to score it with my thumb now. That's what you're going to cut off. Okay. So can you see that from the point where my card is, it's left a, eh, gosh, thumbnails gap, but there is an itty bitty gap. It's not, you're not cutting the corners off right up against the, uh, the hardboard. So if I try and score that there, you can see. Yeah. You can see there, can you see there's a tiny gap I'm going to go and decorate mine and I'll show you the last bit. Okay, that's my corners all done. I hope you didn't have any problems either, but if you have any questions, don't forget, please do leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. Okay, last bit now, guys. And that's, I'm going to attach our cover to our book. Now, just make sure that you've got your pockets the right way up and before you stick that on you have to put your ribbon so go around your book get a rough idea and just add it obviously just a, just a just a bit more because as I say your covers are one more so I'm gonna cut there that should do me fine okay and again I'm gonna use um, matte medium to glue mine down you use obviously whatever it is that you prefer don't you just love technology just as i was uh, <laughs> filming that um my battery died on my phone i'm really sorry but you basically all you saw me lie out the lay out the um the ribbon all i did was put some matte medium underneath it and i held it and then just stuck my pages down. They're wrinkled at the moment, that's just because my glue is still drying. Um, when you attach your pages to the hardboard, once your ribbons, I mean your ribbon actually doesn't have to be dry, it just has to be gripping. Um, put the glue onto the paper, not onto the grey board, and hold it down, it, it, it holds better. So basically, there you go, all done. I'll bring in our other one. There you go. Oh, mine's just got a few tags in. Um, if you enjoyed that, uh, please do hit the like button. Right, well, that's me. I really hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. I look forward to our next Try It Tuesday. From my arty crafty heart to yours, be good, be safe, be loved, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>